So Google just announced Video Poet and this is huge not because this can generate videos. I mean, a bunch of the models can generate videos right now, but they won't do videos that look like this, right? These are just insane videos. If you go through these samples, you'd realize, but the biggest thing is not that the fact that you can generate videos, but it can actually generate videos with sound. So let's kind of take a look at this one. Rookie the raccoon and his family. Rookie loves to play soccer with his friends, collect acorns from the trees, swim in the river and catch fish. But what he loves most is exploring new places and sniffing new smells. Except he's never made it out of the vast forest. Every night he dreams of seeing exotic places, Times Square, the Golden Key Bridge. One day he sees a portal of yellow light and his curiosity makes him step inside. Suddenly he's falling through a long tunnel which takes him to Paris. I've never seen anything like it, he says. And then to the Great Barrier Reef and even the South Pole, where he makes some new friends before visiting the ISS and ultimately the planet Angoreda, where the locals didn't speak raccoon, which makes him miss the raccoon forest and especially his family. But he quickly finds his way back home. He's so happy to be back with his friends, but also grateful for his adventures. I guess he's not such a rookie anymore. So this is awesome. And Video Poet is the model that is able to generate these videos with audio. So if you remember a few months back, I generated a complete video with AI where I generated script using ChatGPT, I generated video using Runway and then audio using 11 Labs. This is doing all of that like without the manual effort. You can use tools like Snappy to also do video generation, but they are not motion videos. Unfortunately, like all the Google AI innovations, this is also not usable right now. But you know, as far as the paper goes, it says that it can do video inpainting and outpainting. And it uses audio palm to generate the audio for the video. You can see there is the text and it can generate text to video. There is image, it can generate image to video. And then, you know, there are multiple different techniques that you can use in order to generate video, which includes in painting and out painting. You can see the design of the model itself. You can see the text token is generated, which is like the story for the video. And then there is the images themselves with motions. And then finally the audio is generated. And post all of these, the final video is generated. So these are like smaller clips that are combined to form like a bigger video, which is what a lot of these tools are doing today. You can see some of the samples for the video poet here. And then some samples are here. If you scroll to the bottom, you'll be able to see the videos with audio generation. So let me play this one. Well, the audio is upright bullshit. Let's see this one. Like this, this one sounds okay. Let's see this one. Well, this one sounds okay too. Overall, it's not too bad. So basically think of it as mini videos combined to form like a larger video and add to that a chat GPT based story or an AI based story forms like a complete short video of sorts. It's not like an innovation per se. It's primarily more on the lines of say decent workflow to generate content itself. These are some of the uh, examples of similar video generations, I believe. And then this is image to video control. If you can upload images, if you upload images, it will be able to generate videos for you. And then it's kind of comparing the models with other, other models that are used for video generations. We won't be able to actually play around and tell you how it works, but you can see there are some samples about the image in on image in video website, which will be using video poet as the backend, I believe. So you can go to uh, image and video and you will be able to find this. Again, there's a research paper here. I don't see an ecosystem where I can go ahead and play around with this. So great job, Google, by building something like this, but you know, we won't be able to actually use it. So yeah, I mean, that's all I wanted to kind of talk through the video itself. It's an insane model with obviously it's not a huge innovation per se, but if this comes out, this is going to be very helpful for a lot of different apps and people currently generating B-rolls for the videos per se. So that it has a great opportunity. Let's see where it goes. See you guys in the next one.